Hi everyone. This is Francisco, and I was just thinking about Jesus Christ, and he died, and on the third day he rose to well, rose from the dead, right? In the physical form. Anyway, so I was thinking if maybe he went to hell for the three days, and if so, was it here on earth? Because maybe this is hell. Because the Bible explains or describes this world as a shadow of the real. So, maybe he came to save the lost. To save that which was lost. Because the authority that ruled us all and that governed us all was stolen, was lost, was destroyed. And that's why God sent his son to die for us. Because it, there could be a lot of confusion, a lot of greed and we all know that like who isn't out there that wants a lot of stuff and that wants more and more and more especially if there is no limit prescribed you know that pe some people would just continue taking 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 especially i mean regardless especially if they're profiting like if someone said you know, free gravel down the road. And that organization didn't give a fuck. Whoever, like if people went over there and picked it up just to flip it and sell it. And if they were able to sell it, you know, the company wouldn't give a fuck either way. So, it's the same thing, you know. With people. Some people. They just. Want to keep on. Taking and taking and taking. And I'm not focusing on the people. I'm focusing. On what governed us. As people. So. Um, yeah I was thinking about that. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? the Bible means and what do you guys think God will do in this year that he didn't do in a year after this one or before this one before after Yeah, before. Since this is a new one. And no one has lived this one yet. Besides us. Currently. But. The internet. I believe. God send that to us. I believe that strongly. Because God is omnipresent, omni knowing, the world wide web, 
Oh, Holy Spirit knows every st every star by name, every name by name, every name by name, every name, every person by name. It knows everything, or the Holy Spirit knows everything. That's better. Yeah, the World Wide Web knows everything. It's beautiful, isn't it? We can just trust in the World Wide Web. I mean, like, when we search for, hey, how do I cook an omelet? It doesn't show us how to cook a freaking salmon, fish, Sal salmon, tuna, salmon, no, salmon, salmon. Salmon, salmon, fish. You know, it's like what God said. You wicked and you wicked and rebellious generation. How long must I put up with you? If if you being evil. Know how, to, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will the father. If your son asks for. A piece of fucking bread. Do you give him a fucking stone instead? And he said absolutely fucking not right? So in the same way. God. Won't either. See. Even though I have my own theories about God being somewhat evil, especially in the Old Testament, he used to slaughter people on command. He used to kill firstborn sons. He used to kill a lot of things. But he had his reasons, I guess. But regardless of all that, we have the World Wide Web. You know, and the Bible says not to steal, but some people are hungry. What are they supposed to do? What are they supposed to do? So the Bible says if they are found stealing and they are caught, think about it. It says if they are caught. It says that in the Bible, if they are caught, they have to return sevenfold. Sevenfold. But that's if they are caught. But now that we have the World Wide Web and cameras watching us 24-7, it's like, it's like we're all caught. So, we need to help each other financially. So we won't get caught stealing. And other stuff. Obviously. Um, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Another day in America. God bless America, ladies and gentlemen. God bless America. Anyway, so I was just thinking about that. And what do you guys think about tithing? Tithing. <clears throat> tithing to... Oh, I got some pimples back here. A little itchy. Anyway, so what do you guys think about... Yeah, that. What do you guys think about my stretch marks?
What do you guys think about Bethel Church in Redding, California? Or Crossroads Church in Corona, California? What's the pros and cons, if any? It's early in the morning. I haven't had my coffee yet. But debating, you know, that I should just stop drinking coffee altogether because of all these crazy voices I've been hearing. It's like, just leave me alone, little voices. It's like, it's like a lab. No, yeah, it's, a, it's like an experimental lab where they have these like little um like little flying insects and then they poke them and they're flying or they think they're flying but somehow they connect they connect them to something so it could appear like they're flying. They're really flapping their wings. But they're they're fixed. They're they're just fixed. They can't go anywhere. And I don't know if they put a backdrop like a back green backdrop type of thing where it shows them flying or they're just using that for some weird <sighs> studies and experiments and possibilities. I don't even know. But I've I seen that with ourselves, with humans. I mean, some people are blind. Some people are paralyzed. Some people, they don't have anything. It's just like a living brain and insides. It's like an engine, really. And it can produce. It can produce its own fuel. It can produce... Um, blood. Just like animals. Animals are the same way. So when they ask for blood, the Red Cross and all that, I just don't understand that. I mean, unless animal blood and human blood are different types of bloods, or different blood types. And. Even the animals. They produce all that. Right. So it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? So right now, in my mind, I see... Like two people getting cooked like pigs. 
on the little the sticks that are horizontal. And there's a fire in the bottom. And then it tied people up. And they kind of like crucified them to the stick. And then they put them horizontally over the fire. And one of them was like, wait a minute. As he was like, they're really inserting them right underneath the fire, the flame. And he thought they were joking. Like, I thought you guys were just joking. Ah, ah. And he was, he started burning. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And then he started screaming. And then the, the other people that they had prepped for um, roasting, they started screaming because now they didn't know how to react. They started panicking. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Or next. And then I started thinking about that one video I seen it through YouTube where they threw a live pig in boiling hot water. And the pig was he was still alive. So it went down there, it tried it picked up his whole body and his head up out of the water. And I don't know if it was drinking any or swallowed any, but you guys could just imagine. And then eventually he started kicking his whole body started like kicking everywhere. <clears throat> it was really, really sad to see that. And it just reminds me of, like, us back in the day, like in the Stone Ages, when we didn't have any understanding of pain and the knowledge of pain. And we had so the lack of knowledge, you know, there's so little knowledge. But now it's so vast. That all of us take everything for granted. We take everything as a grain of salt. You know. But I think that's a good thing. But still. Grain of salt is better than. Tasteless salt. But. Still. It's crazy. And then my cousin told me that we're just a bunch of energy. You know, it's like, I, I understand like what he means. It's like tadpoles originating out of water. That turn to like bullfrogs and it just starts like a completely new like ecosystem. And it'll attract more and more life as long as there's more or there's water there. <sighs> And the animals have access to that location, or that spot, or whatever. But that's why a lot of scientists, they're recording their analysis on paperwork, or through the, or on the computer, or through the computer, through the World Wide Web, about certain studies in which in with which 
if they are destroyed the experience can be revised or revised or duplicated or both so um so fucking if um someone wants to repeat that study again and bring about that type of DNA string they're able to do it and once they have it they have it forever it's like medication it's like paint you just put in the code the the DNA code and boom it mixes the colors correctly and boom you have that color always the same without you know fault it's always the same it's perfect so that's the same thing with like poisonous frogs and stuff like that like who knows what the fuck they're doing and people say like people scientists can be like oh it's our lives are devastated everything we ever worked so hard for has been destroyed but not really it's there but maybe the studies were put to a halt for a reason but if we really needed to go back and re like do all that or bring about that same DNA then we we'll, we would know exactly how to do it. So. Energy. It's like Adam and Eve you know. And then God described him as the first Adam. And then Jesus Christ was the second Adam. Maybe there's an atom in every generation. Who fucking knows? And maybe for every generation, Adam is looking for his wife, you know? But, anyways, what was I talking about? Jesus. Jesus. I love Jesus. What would I do without him? You know? He loved me before I loved him. Praise God. I just showed up in the world full of love. Like, what the fuck? Praise the Lord. And a lot of people get jealous, you know? So my friend told me, God loves me. No, he said something about I am God's favored son. And he was like something about he said something about um God I 
like favors me more like he loves me more and he was like jokingly saying that like like a child that's like spoiled you know and a and a father that really loves his child so that's like he was like sarcastically saying that I thought it was pretty cool You know, because everyone, everyone in the world, we all have a personal relationship with the Father, with with God, just like we do with the World Wide Web. And those that have like all these smart homes, smart devices that speak into the World Wide Web, the computer to the World Wide Web, we understand that personal relationship it's there's a bond and without it i don't know what the fuck we're going to do without it and i don't want to grieve the holy spirit so i'm not going even i'm not even going to doubt but we are Creating a bond that's stronger than anything the world and anyone has ever thought of or imagined. It's a perfect bond. It's better than any marriage out there. I mean, there's really a contract there that cannot be broken at all. Even if we tried, <clears throat> we will be like, it'll be like playing a video game with the margins that don't permit you to jump off a cliff. Nope. Not happening. Even if you keep jumping in that direction. Mm -mm. Just have to follow the path, little buddy. You just have to keep on following the path. Yeah. God is awesome. He's beautiful. But the Bible says it's just a shadow. This world. So I look up at the, at the moon. And I don't know which one's the shadow, us or the fucking moon. Like, which one's the real earth? Maybe what we think is earth is not earth. And what we think about it, the moon is not the moon. Because knowledge is power, you know? Knowledge is power. Oh my god, I would, I would do anything for a massage right now. A whole body. Detox. From the inside out. Fully submissive. Fully. Given. And willing vessel. Just to release that negative energy. Away. 
I mean, you know how they do that. However they do that. Release it. Release it. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I release that negative energy. Anyway, so I'm just here in my bedroom. Just woke up. Just a random place in this big expanse that we call the earth. I was just thinking about that yesterday, last night, like... I just come here to the same room every single day for the past two years. And I was just thinking, there's other people out there taking vacations, traveling the world, doing this, doing that. Shit, that shit is crazy. Must be fun, right? Thank God for the World Wide Web, though. And the internet. And my fingers went to sleep. Can't feel them. Mm. Oh, 